or dear students or today i am posting my next video on applications of electronic engineers in which i'm going to speak on vehicle theft theft or detection and remote locking so this a topic will be theft detection that is when your vehicle has gone to theft process and remote locking so when somebody has taken your vehicle so how you are going to identify it and then from remote how you are going to lock it okay so here uh, the idea behind it is uh, today a theft of vehicles have become more common practice and therefore a tracking safety of vehicles has become necessary so to avoid theft a common of vehicles vehicle tracking and locking system is installed in the vehicles okay now this system makes use of gps service and gsm service gsm is global system of mobile communication and gps is global positioning system so here if you see this unit can track the location of vehicle and can lock the engine motor the place of the vehicle is identified using global positioning system that, that is gps and global system mobile communication that is gsm which will use a sim card and mobile station to give you the instruction or to give you the information about where the vehicle is and then it will also enable the mobile to give a, a command to lock the engine of the motor this systems constantly watch a moving vehicle and report the status on demand okay now when there is a theft identified okay when there is a theft identified the responsible person the owner sends sms to the microcontroller in the unit installed in the vehicle then microcontroller issues the control signals to stop the engine motor the authorized person uh, that is the owner needs to send the password to the controller to restart the vehicle and open the door this is the logic what is going to be used now here you can see the block diagram of the unit which is there inside the vehicle and your mobile station okay so here this part you can see that you are having your mobile which is a remote which is little with the owner okay and this is your mobile antenna this is your mobile antenna okay now mobile on demand on demand it is going to ask the position of the vehicle to this system now in this system you can see you are having your global system of mobile communication gsm which will identify the subscriber identification module sim card and then give that signal whatever information has come from the mobile through the max 232 to the microcontroller now microcontroller has to take the demand service which has come from the mobile asking the location of the vehicle the location of the vehicle takes help of your global positioning system okay and then you have a power supply for this microcontroller now this global positioning system will give you the location of the vehicle to the microcontroller okay then the microcontroller will give the information back to the to the owner giving him the location of the vehicle then the owner sends sms sms is sent okay now that sms is a word password which is identified by the microcontroller and it will give instructions to the relay driver relay and car engine motor so car engine motor will be off so engine motor will become off and simultaneously it will also give instruction to the door locker where the doors of the car will be locked and the thief inside the car will remain inside because he cannot open the door okay so this is how the system is going to work and all those car inner sensing whatever is there that 
star inner sensing is done by ir sensors okay so whenever there is a moment of the door or locking system or anything that car moment is done by the ir sensor and for that ir sensor you require ir transmitter and ir receivers okay so ir uh, our transmitter and ir uh, receivers you can see here so these are your infrared transmitter and infrared receivers now this transmitter and receiver will exchange the signals with the ir sensors ir sensors okay so which are in the car okay so th that will give the information about what is the status of the things whether the doors are locked or no or what is the status to the microcontroller okay so with all this information the microcontroller will see that whenever the car is uh, or taken away by the thief or it has gone under process of theft okay in that case whenever the owner from his mobile sends a sms then in that case the microcontroller will give instruction to its unit within the car to stop the car engine and also it will see that the doors of the car are locked okay so all this is done by the microcontroller unit inside the car inside your vehicle okay so this is your block diagram of vehicle tracking and locking system based on gsm that is global system of mobile communication and gps that is global positioning system now the block diagram consists of power supply section keyboard gsm gps microcontroller max 232 driver relay driver infrared transmitter infrared receiver lcd display and door locker the gsm board has a valid sim card that is your subscriber identification module card the block diagram shows a novel method of vehicle tracking and locking system using gps and gsm technology this system is put into sleeping mode while the vehicle is handled by the owner when it is not under the process of theft or unauthorized person otherwise it goes into active mode so that is this system will be used only when it the theft process is activated so it has been taken by some other person in that case only this system will be activated otherwise this system is in sleeping mode if any interruption occurs in any side of the door then the ir sensor senses the signals and sms sends to the microcontroller the our controller issues the message about the place of the vehicle to the owner or the authorized person when the owner sends SMS to the controller, or this is important, when the owner sends SMS to the controller, it issues the control signal to the engine motor. Engine motor speeds are gradually decreases and comes to the off place. After that, all the doors are locked. To open the door or to restart the engine, the authorized person, that is the owner, needs to enter the password. Then only it can be opened. Otherwise, no other thief or other unauthorized person can open it. Okay. Thank you, students.